Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing some more Formula 1 2024 My Team Korea. Now in the last episode we was at Brazil I want to say? Yeah Brazil and we had a pretty decent recovery race I'd say considering we well we qualified 19th because of a, an engine penalty but then we made our way back up the grid back up the order to 8th place and I think that's quite quite good um quite a good result considering the odds were stacked against us and we managed to finish ahead ahead of russell as well which is very important for the championship because we're not losing places to him but we are only 10 points behind um charles Leclerc, which is pretty close <laughs> so hopefully this race heading into vegas we can uh, we can try and finish ahead of the Ferrari. Uh, it's going to be a challenge, but I think it's one that we are up to. So, fingers crossed, all goes well, and I'll see you at the race. Better not be another sprint. Tickets for this one sold out in a matter of seconds, some for as much as a million dollars. There's a massive interest in Formula One in the United States, so it's no surprise we have a third race in America. Welcome to the Las Vegas Grand Prix. 17 corners, three straights, two DRS zones, and the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas as we race around the 3.8 miles of Sin City. The strip has been taken over to become a straight tonight, commanding top speeds of around 212 miles an hour. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Clark lines up on pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Sainz, Russell, Hamilton, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Verstappen, Oscar Piastri, Albon, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Ocon, Stroll, Ricardo, Joe, Sonoda, Sargent, Bottas, Gasly, and Kamui Kobayashi. And now it's time to head down to the track. And alongside me today, a man who I'm always pleased to see join me in the commentary box, Anthony Davidson. As we all know, every single driver wants to know what's required of them. And in the case of this driver, I think things are pretty stable at the moment. That They're doing what the team require. Well, that's the thing, you know, as a driver, it's easy to feel like you're the individual. It's all about you and you know you want to further your career the best you can but you have to have the team hat on as well and play the team game work with your teammate as best you can it's not an easy balance to to figure out no opening message from the engineer <clears throat> all right guys as you saw there we had a uh fantastic qualifying and um, so let's take a look and it wants a medium hard that's good because with the way this game works at the minute anything other than hard is terrible so we're going to do what we can with medium um, hopefully the last until lap 11 and then on to the hards for the remainder uh 1.4 lap we'll go 1.3 extra fuel um is, is a a full throttle circuit and um yeah, let's go for it. We uh, hopefully need a good start, so let's go. And off we go. Not a bad start. See if we can hold it around the first couple of corners onto the straight. We're going to try and break away as quickly as we can because DRS in this is mega powerful. These straights are very, very long. On the upside down pig. There's the, uh, the dome there smiling at us as we go around. Yeah, it didn't take long to uh, to get 
get to know this circuit. It's a very simple circuit, to say the least. And here we are on the uh, on the longest straight on the uh, on the circuit. It is just yeah, it's just foot down and go. <laughs> There's not much more to say. It probably makes up a good 20% of the circuit, um, so it's minimal minimal wings possible. And now we've just got to. Uh, Keep okay, extending the lead. This lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. There's a few uh, few tricky corners, like the first corner just there. It's a little bit tricky because um, you can break while going round the corner very lightly, so you don't have to break as early as you think. Same with this corner. There is lots of grip. And then, of course, as you go around here, I take an, a wide line. The game wants you to take uh, a narrow line, but I've found that if you take the, the narrow line, then you just end up losing grip on the front because you're trying to turn while braking. So if you take the wider line, you get a little bit more of a... Your, your wheels are a little bit more straight. They're still a little bit turned, but they just allow you to get more braking force and a brake a little bit later than the game would want you to. So, yeah, you, you, there is... You can lose a lot of time here if you follow exactly what the racing line tells you. But, yeah, those are the only few few areas that I've found that any time that it wants you to break while cornering, I've found if you just take it slightly bit wider, then uh, you get a little bit better on the brakes and you can carry a little bit more a little bit more of an angle through the corners. As well here, it wants you to slow down, but it's Great it's work. a full That's throttle a corner. Lap of the race. So there's a there's really not a lot to say about this circuit. It's not terrible, but it's just terrible in the way they've gone about it in the real world. With the um, manhole covers not being secure, a lot of safety issues on the uh, on street circuits, and then as well, uh, trying to obstruct uh, fans from viewing in certain places, like the bridge here. Like you paid for your ticket, why not let people watch from it? <clears throat> F F1 used to always be about inclusion, trying to get as many people into the sport as possible. But now it feels more like it's just about oh, just give us your money, we don't care. Mm -hmm. And that's that's not F1. F1 at its core is all about inclusion. No matter what background you're from, no matter where you're from. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, because um, of how well I did in qualifying, um, we're just going to keep breaking yeah, the... Uh, mm. seconds. Hmm. We're just going to keep breaking the fastest lap. Hmm. And staying well ahead of, uh, of anybody else. Too much curb there. There's another one. You take too much curb on that corner, you mess yourself up. Now, hopefully, this game is... I really hope they fix this game. Because it is... I, I want to keep doing this series. Uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. 
it does take quite a bit of time to record. Um, so I won't, I won't be able to put any more other than one video a week out about it. But there is a lot of bugs in this game. Uh, there's a lot of issues with the tire wear, handling, uh, track acclimatization being broken. Like, even if you go through the gates, it still says you fail. Sometimes before you get to the gates, it says you failed. So, I really hope the f somebody, uh, Cody's or EA is watching. I doubt it because I'm a very, very tiny channel in comparison. But I enjoy this game. I, I've, I've loved the series. And <clears throat> yeah, it's. I love F1. So, <laughs> you know. So I'm just, I'm hoping the game gets fixed and it's not going to be a, oh, we're going to wait until next year's to try and do something about it. Because otherwise, yeah, it's, it's, it'll just end up losing the license like it did with FIFA. And then nobody's going to play an unlicensed F1 game. Because they don't want to be a team made up. Ins insert non-copyright name here. People want to be racing either in their own team that they've made themselves or Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull, Williams, Aston Martin. You know, they want to race at those teams. Like, it's... Unlicensed racing games don't tend to do that well. But, enough about crying about Formula One. We're four and a half seconds ahead. Tyres are feeling alright at the minute. I, they are losing grip, but we're holding on okay. So we're just going to go as fast as we can for as long as we can and uh, see what we can do. Once we get onto the hard tyres, we know we're going to be okay because they are... They just don't wear. They don't lose grip. Not like the mediums or the soft where you, you breathe too heavily around the softs and they fall apart. Hmm. Which is a bit strange considering in practice it said the uh, estimated lifespan of the soft was around 10 laps. And then in practice, it was 21. So the dicking around with the uh, with the grip levels and the and the tire life between sessions, and that's not right. You shouldn't be doing that. And that's probably one of the reasons why tire wear is just a death sentence. Because the AI just never seemed to lose grip, even in the wet. Like, I, th I think if... I think that's one okay, thing so I'm going to have to... By seconds. I think that's one thing that I'm going to have to uh, have to change if we do... Uh, if we pick this up for a season two. Is... Um, turn off uh, wet weather. And just solely dry because the weather system's broken. I mean, we've we've seen it already in the uh, in the few wet races that we've done uh, so far, and even in practice sessions when it's been wet, it's just impossible. It's not fun one bit because the AI can just drive at full throttle, no problem, and we can't because our grip just isn't there.
So until they fix all these bugs, there's certain things that we can't do. If EA don't sort themselves out, this this game series is going to be dead. Because that just seems to be the thing that EA does. And I know loads of people are, are saying that it's not EA's fault, but the track record's there. Yeah, Cody's uh, haven't made perfect games all the time, but they were a lot freaking better than this. And we, we complain because we can. Oh, Leclerc's dropped down to Russell. When did that happen? But Leclerc's coming back by the looks of it. It's six tenths off, five tenths, four tenths. Uh, yeah, the uh, the two games that, that got me into sim racing was uh, Gran Turismo, which is always going to be a favourite. Um, We're approaching that, the pit window now, and you're going to be on hards next time. That game doesn't seem to have ever missed a beat year after year. I mean, sport compared to GT5, not as good in my opinion. I thought GT5 was better, but can the, the there's never been a massive issue when I played that game with handling or you know red core core things in the game not working properly. And there's not uh, DRS and. You know, there's not, there's not trains of cars. You can, you can still fight your way through on those games. It's, it's a challenge, but it's doable. It's not like this, where you get stuck, be, stuck in a DRS train and you're there for like ten laps, and then it's like, oh, lap game's over. Race is over. We're, we're, we're eleventh or something like that. There we go, just catching the slide through that corner there. It looks like this is just going to be uh, going to be pretty straightforward for us. Oh yeah, the the back end was sliding out there, and wasn't it? Yeah, see, that's what happens when we take the, uh, the the racing line. Well, the one that the game says is the racing line. Oh, bugger. Okay, be careful with the front wing. You've taken some minor damage. Yeah, that's, that's what can happen. It can mess up your entire line. Leclerc's back ahead of Russell. So now we need to we need to make up some time here. This is a long ass straight, man. Long.
OK, we're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. OK, let's go for it. Hard on the brakes, turn in, there we go, nice and easy, round the corner, set the wide line, Clark, set the wide line, there we go, didn't mess it up this time, steady with the throttle, yeah, sometimes talk, <laughs> talking myself through it works, whatever makes it easier for you guys, but this is what happens for, uh, uh, this is what helps me, set the wide line again, yeah, I did. Messed myself up okay, there. Okay, pit in this lap and remember the speed limit. We'll be penalised if we exceed it. Keep that in mind as you approach. We didn't lose. Yeah, there we go. Now it's updated. We lost about a second there. There we go. That's better. Flooring it down the pit entry. Right, here we go. Don't miss, mess it up. Optimal. Yes. Should get a good stop here. Who okay, stopped? Mate, that's it. Go, go, go. Perfect Paul job on the Ferrari. turn there, mate. Looks like a nice stop time. Right, we're we've got to be careful on the way okay, out. Stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. We managed to stay ahead of one uh, Lance Stroll. There we go, we've got nice fresh tyres on now. Slightly wide line, onto the brakes. Turn in. Oh, yeah, just didn't want to turn then. understeer now that you're in the wake of the car ahead try to get past as soon as possible the hell are you on about this piastri six seconds ahead <laughs> you freaking moron oh my word please fix the freaking engineer as well is are you just saying just anything just to make it feel real That's not how this works. Okay, no issues with tyre wear for now. Keep taking care of them. So back up to P1. They must have all been within tenths of each other. Looks like science undercut the clear. ERS is low, ERS is low. Consider changing mode on your MFD or lift a little with gentle braking into corners to recharge it. Gap to your teammate behind, 17.2 seconds. Okay, can we just come in the pits again? Now? Man, what the hell, man? This game's getting buggier and buggier the more I play it. Like we just didn't didn't want to chip downshift then. I've had that a few times now. The track is clear, green flag. What the nothing there? You just put in yellow flags in for no reason.
I really don't understand what's going on, man. Hamilton's out. He's really not having good racing, is he? He is not going well for him at all. Like last race, he uh, ended up with a with an issue, made him go slow, dropped from third or fourth, I think it was. To I don't know what. The race before, I think he was out. I, I, it's not going well for him these last couple of races. Yellow flag. There he is. how fast we can get down here 116 with the RS I think it was uh, 126 with the ERS and DRS Roundy, 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 roundy. Oh, forgot to turn in. Missed my turning point. I can only apologise if this isn't as entertaining for, uh, for you guys, but... I qualified well and I, uh, I did well. I, I've not adjusted the difficulty of this game at all since we set it to uh, 82 at the start because that was, um, you know, I could comfortably race against the AI at any higher and I was struggling way too much to even get in the points, let alone um, anywhere else. But then there's, there's some tracks where I'm just good at and others where I'm not as well so it was a difficult balancing act trying to get um, a good average but um, yeah that's 
just the way it goes sometimes. Uh, okay, so we're leading our teammate by 39.0 seconds. All right, you saw how bad it was uh, at Monza. Uh, not Monza. Um, Monaco. I suck at that track so much. I I think it's just because I find it a boring track because you can't overtake. I really don't like it. it it's maybe more fun. I mean, time trial wise, it's it's not bad. It's Let's difficult. Overtake and burn off some of this energy. But then, like when you're in a race and you're stuck behind a car, there's practically nowhere to overtake. If they don't want you to overtake, that you will not overtake, and we. We proved that when uh, I think it was Perez kept trying to go past us. He just couldn't get past us because we were just like, nope. We just sat in the middle of the road and they, he couldn't get past. There was nothing he could do. He was quicker than us. But because of the nature of the track, there was nothing he could do to get past us. So we, we managed to keep the, the, the place that we was in on that one. Um... But yeah, like, I think it's just down to track knowledge. If I, if I spent an equal amount of time on every track, then it'd be a lot easier. But there is tracks that I really like. There's tracks that I just flow with. Um, Vegas. I mean, this, this is only the third time I've raced on here. And we're in first place. I think it's just because it's that easy of, an of a track to get used to. So if you if you want a track that's easy to get used to, um, and you're just starting out with a wheel, Vegas is a very easy easy track. It's it's very easy to lose time on the uh, on this circuit, um, but it's very easy to make that time up as well if if you just get the corners right. Uh, Monza is another very easy circuit to learn, although turn one can be quite difficult. Oh, missed me breaking point. Um, Here's some information on Sunoda for you. Right, they've got a serious car issue. It looks like they're retiring. Oh, right, fair enough. And uh, yeah, uh, Bahrain, caution, the first. Caution. Is he retired okay, at the same place as Hamilton? He has, hasn't he? Track, no overtaking through the yellow flags. Green flag, green flag, we're racing again, let's go. I'm sorry mate, I wanted to talk. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, Bahrain is another very easy circuit. Uh, first one on the calendar. Uh, it's a very good circuit to learn. Same with Australia, although that one can be quite tricky in some places. Uh, Silverstone, I get that's. I'd say that's about similar level as um, as Australia. Uh, it's a very. I love that circuit though. So I will. I swear by Silverstone as a as a fun track. I just jam with that circuit so much and. Been British as well. British, it's a great circuit. You know, UK is is the home of motorsport. Um, for many categories uh, of racing. So yeah, I I love that love that circuit. Um, if I ever got the opportunity to drive around that circuit, I would literally wet myself with excitement. <laughs> Uh, I doubt that opportunity will ever come up, but if it does, that'll be the, the greatest day of my life, being able to race around that circuit. Um, what else? What else is a good circuit? I know a lot of people don't like it, but uh, Abu Dhabi is a, is a good circuit to, to learn on as well. It's got a, a tricky third sector to watch out for, but... For the most part, uh, a lot of that circuit is very easy to get to grips with, especially with the uh, revised um, section into the hairpin in Sector 1. Uh, that's all a little bit of a change. Um, 
trying to think while driving around here. I won't go with Singapore. That is a very difficult circuit. Even though it's got the revised um, turn 14 and 15, I think it was. They got rid of them. Um, but yeah, that's that's a good track. Uh, I really need to practice. Oh, what is it? Not the Hungara ring. Um. Oh, what's that? Was I can't remember the name of the circuit now. It'll come back to me. We did it not long ago, and I was just terrible at it. Oh, Austria is a good one to learn on as well because it's quite—it's a short circuit, and if you if you get the last two corners right, you can go. You can make make or break lots of time there. Uh, but that's that's another very very good circuit. Uh, same with the uh, turn two at the top of the hill before the uh, the third DRS zone or second, which. Whichever way around you want to look at it. I, I see the start finish line one as DRS zone one. Then after turn two, that's DRS zone two. Then at, at the top of the hill, uh, after you make the turn, to me that's DRS three. I don't know if that's the correct way, but that's how I see it. Cause you just got DRS, turn, DRS, turn, DRS, turn, few few corners uh, I won't, won't paying attention properly then I mean we are like nine seconds ahead so as long as we don't make too many of those mistakes we should be fine We've got a third of a lap of fuel left. That should be enough fuel to get to the end. But yeah, there's quite a lot of circuits to uh, to practice on, uh, and the game does do a. Pretty decent. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Well done. Um, way of telling you. I mean, it, for the most part, it does get them right on on difficulty level. I'd, I would say Monaco is the hardest, so I wouldn't start with that <laughs> if you, if you're just learning. Unless you really like Monaco, don't start with Monaco. It is a very di difficult circuit one mistake anywhere and it cocks your entire lap up or even worse you're into the wall it's that tight like think of um the last few corners before the backs uh, before the straight at miami the car parking area bit where it's clearly like um they've just used the uh, what do you call it uh, junctions on a you know that, that I'm sure I'm sure most of you know what I mean, which bit I mean but it's like it's like that but everywhere <laughs> that's Monaco it's that sector in terms of tightness but everywhere because you can't overtake there either uh, Miami you can if someone majorly messes up but otherwise it's just a train. You're just following it. You're just following the other cars through that through that sector. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's uh, my top circuits. Um, apparently, I'm really good at Vegas. Just 
so you know, we're getting some strange readings from a couple of the sensors. So I don't think you need to be worried, just some bad data. So keep doing what you're doing. I'll let you know if we notice any genuine problems. So we've got, just got a couple of laps left now. Uh, I'm pretty safe to say we've won this one. I was hoping for a bit of a battle. But unless I slow down, it doesn't look like anybody's going to catch up. But I think that's just down to everybody's engines and other bits being majorly worn. And uh, ours isn't. If we look at the uh, the parts data, it's only the energy store and the internal combustion engine that are really worn. But we we took a we took a new engine. Um, what was it now? Two races ago, I think it was. Um, no, last race, and uh, yeah, we took a penalty there. I took a fifth engine. Whereas it looks like Kamui uh, has taken one this race. Uh, whereas we did it on the last race because I'd rather have done it there. Although to be fair, if I knew, I mean we, could, we couldn't have held on. We was at 70 odd percent uh, on the engine where before we'd even started the weekend. So it had just gone bang at some point in the race and then we'd be shit out. So we, uh, yeah, we, we had to take it a race early. Otherwise we'd have run the risk of not finishing, which is even worse. But we, uh, yeah, we did a good recovery race last race. I was, I was well proud of us. That was a, that was a good one. We did quite well in the, uh, in the old sprint race as well. So it, sh it showed what sort of pace we had uh, with the car when it came to the race itself. But we, uh, we just. We're just okay, mate. Final lap. Keep your concentration and let's bring it home. We just uh, got a bit unlucky uh, and couldn't make our way back up. We just didn't have enough laps to get further up the order. But I mean, going from 19th to uh, 8th is pretty respectable in, uh, in in my book. So we're on to the final lap now at Vegas. Let's make it a. Uh, Let's just make it around. We don't need to uh, do anything fancy. We just need to bring the car home now. Smiley McGee there, smiling away. He's obviously happy that we're winning. Lots of money well spent there, uh, Vegas. Well done. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth causing a GPU shortage just to make it. Yeah, thanks for that. I mean, it does look pretty cool, but... I see it more as a touristy thing when you're there rather than um, a Formula 1 thing <laughs> if, if that's why they, they wanted to make it, the Formula 1 uh, nah, nah mate yes, way, yes, there yes, we go guys, yes. uh, it's a Come win on, oh, superb driving that is the race win my friend well done if we didn't get away on the first lap I'd I think we would have been in a bit of a fight there. But yeah, I'll see you guys at HQ. Alright guys, we are back at the garage. What a fantastic result that was at Vegas. I'd really like to know where uh, Hamilton finished. Because, um... Oh, he DNF'd, didn't he? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, Pat... Brazil, he got third and... 
the two before that, it was, it was quite terrible for him, so it's a bit unfortunate. He's had, what, one, two, three, four DNFs this season. He must be gutted. But there's only two races left this season. Um, ne the next episode, we are heading over to Qatar. Um, so, yeah, that should be uh, should be quite quite a fun race. Um, a bit hit and miss on that on that track, so I'm... Uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge, but uh, that's it for this episode, so thank you ever so much for watching. Like I say, next episode we are heading over to Qatar, hopefully we can do quite well there, and um, I think we're ahead of, uh, no, we're not ahead of Charles Leclerc, we are two points behind because he finished second, so it's going to be a close one for third, uh, hopefully we can get it at, the, at this race, but uh, yeah, that's Again, thanks again for watching. If you like the video, please hit that like button. It really does help me out, and it and it also puts uh, helps YouTube push it out to other people that may enjoy this series. Uh, let me know your favorite race, favorite team, or let me know what you think of the Vegas circuit. If uh, if you def if if you think it looks like an up down upside down pig, let me know down in the comments. And um, still trying to get to 500 subscribers, so please, if you are watching and you are enjoying the series or any of the uh, games that I played on the channel, please hit that subscribe button as uh, the analytics have shown me about 80% of viewers that are watching aren't subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button and help me get to 500 subscribers. I'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody. Bye now.